Me and Shay are going fossil hunting today and when we get back we've got an absolutely brilliant nodule which I found yesterday with a big ammonite hanging around the outside of it. So when we get back we're going to open that up also show one of our favourite fossils at home as well. Hopefully we find some on the beach but if not we've got some exciting little fossils for later on. Just going to start having a little look at the pebbles that the sea has just most recently washed. See if there's anything about. Thought that could have contained something, but doesn't look like it would, unfortunately. Looks a bit like something. I'm just trying to work out what it is. Might just be a little squash nodule in the shape of something. calcite on top of this rock. Oh, pretty nice bellum night fossil there. So that'll just be a nice one to leave there. What the heck? Must leave that alone. Okay, I can see a pretty good ammonite just sat here. I'll pause the video, see if you can spot it as well. So there is actually two. There's one here. Just got like a couple of partial ammonites inside. And then, oh, there's three. There's another one right there. This looks like it'll split open beautifully. And there's also another one here. Which again, looks like it's got a really good chance of opening pretty well so later on is that a fourth oh yep <laughs> fourth on there so, so later on when i meet up with Shay, we'll split these open with a hammer and chisel looks like they should all open very nicely Quite a lot of mud here has begun to slip down. There's loads more to come as well. Some sliding down just there, just a little trickle of it, but quite often is with like much bigger, much bigger amounts that come down. Got another lovely ammonite, this time in a much bigger bulky nodule. And again, it does look like it'll like open up and split very nicely. So <laughs> touch wood that these all do now that I've said it, but we'll find out very shortly. 
So Shay's also looking further up the beach as well and if he comes across anything he'll record it as well. Wouldn't mind finding some nice bits of bone on one of my videos. I don't tend to find it when I'm filming, it's always sod's law. Usually find it when I'm just out by myself without the camera. But at the end of the video we do have some nice bits to come. big partial phyloceros. These ammonites did grow, well, there's quite a few examples at least of like one or two feet across. Usually not 3D though, they usually just crush like this. Pretty nice and pirateized though. had a bellum night earlier in the video, but this is quite a bit bigger. A little bit of a different colour as well. It's got a nice green tinge to it. Probably from being eroded. It's something like what I was looking for before, a massive preserved ammonite. We're going to split the ammonites open now that we found and also Shea found a really nice ammonite with a big elegant hisserus around the side of the nodule which we're also going to break open now. It's very similar to the nodule we're going to break when we get home so we'll get to see two open today. Getting his safety goggles on ready. I've got mine on as well. So we'll start off with the ammonites I found earlier in the video. And the nicest one, so this has got a big, lovely, elegant hysteris showing around the outside. This is going to be our best find of the day.
here's the big nodule which we're going to be breaking open. As you can see, there's a what looks to be a potentially stunning big ammonite hanging out of the side of it. So we're going to give it a little tap around here. Hopefully it <laughs> opens up to reveal this stunning ammonite. The ammonite opened up really nicely, but didn't open up as easily as we would have liked it to. We're now going to show a little ichthyosaur paddle, which Shea found. We've got it over here. We absolutely love this paddle. Shea initially found it when he was looking for ammonites. We found a little piece of shale with a couple of bones around the edge and then we prepped down and were genuinely incredibly surprised when it actually had a complete paddle in it. No ammonites with it either, just the little ichthyosaur paddle. Very, very pleased with this. One of his best finds and one of our favourite fossils as well. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video. Oh, wow.